How much is the golf club? Uh, three bucks. Three? Take it. You don't want the whole set? No, I just want this, actually. Good morning, how you doing? Pretty good, how are you? Doing great, thank you. How much are your clothes? Uh, shirts are 50 cents. 50 cents. Oh, yeah, too. Uh, okay. Morning, how are you? Thank you. Well, I'm asking, uh, good morning. Good morning. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. You Bye. too. How much is the hat? How much is the hat? Uh, a dollar. Dollar? Thank you. How you doing? How much is the golf club? Uh, three bucks. Three? Take it. You don't want the whole set? No, I just want this, actually. Okay. <laughs> what about these uh, C-clamps in the box? Uh, let's go 20 for all of them. 20? 20, 20, 20 for the whole box? I'll take that too. I'll just leave us here. How are you guys doing today? Uh, just started at seven, so it's been an hour. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad? Yeah. You got a lot of people come by? Uh, not, not yet. But Saturday is usually a pretty good day. We had it yesterday. Uh huh. Yeah, it did okay. But last week, Saturday was the big day. Was it? Saturday and Sunday. Sunday was slow. So we started, we figured we'd try Friday. Uh -huh. Two dollars. What about for the hat? Um, a buck. Buck? Sounds good. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
How much is this thing? Does this thing work still? Put gas in it? Uh, it takes white gas. All right. I haven't used it in a while. I'm sure it still works. Um, it may need a tune-up. Okay. Um, eight for both of them. Eight for both of these? Uh-huh. All right. Well, I just think this one would be like four bucks. Sure. All right. So are you uh, 28 for all that? I think it has a 28. Yeah. That's 28 right there. Okay. And then I can throw this in for free. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, you screw it onto the white yep. glass thing. And you Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I right, make double trips and come back for the uh, for that box. You bet. Hello. Hi. Should I pay for this? Yeah, if you'll get a chest of drawers too. <laughs> What's the damage on that? Five bucks. Okay. I'll take Thank it. you. Thank you.
How much is this? Three. 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 <laughs> Did you want the hanger pack? No. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Size 12. Size 12? 11 or 12. Okay. I think one was 12 and one was 11. These are 10. 10. 10. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I think these are 12. How much are you asking for them? Huh? How much are you asking for them? The green ones are the 10. I had these, Both. I had, I had these on offer up for 55 and I had these on offer up for 40. I'll give you a better deal on them. Right. big ones? You want to try them on? No, it's okay. Thank okay. you. Huh? Okay. Um, I'll take 20 for these, and I'll take 35 for those. They're brand new, probably they ever used. You know, you, you see them a couple times? I didn't even use them. Yeah. My neighbor down the block, he can't go fishing anymore, he's 86. Yeah. We clean up, getting rid of stuff. So, uh... Take 20 for these, you said? Yeah. Okay, I'll take them. Okay. I'll just keep looking around. What's up for the hats? Yeah, you want both of them? Yeah. Two bucks a piece? Sure. Right Sounds good. Thank you. Sit down in the chair. I know they won't fit. Okay. But. How much you want from? No, this, this new would be 70. Um, give me three bucks. Three? Okay, I'll take it. There you go. Two, four, three, seven, 27. 27. Yeah. Keep looking here, so I'll show you. Uh, no, I think I can carry it to my car. Okay. Oh. okay. All right. Here you go, sir. 27. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. No problem. Glad you can help. All right. Glad you can help. All right. Have a great day. You too. Oops. All right, guys. Just got back from Saturday morning garage selling. Um, I actually did really, really well. Um, it started off really, really slow because uh, I was using the um, Yard Sale Treasure Map app. And the ones that are on the app, the yard sales weren't very good. So I decided to just scrap the app and just uh, go, just wing it. Just uh, drive around a couple of neighborhoods that I know usually has garage sales and just try to find some. And I did find three or four that were off the grid. And I noticed that these off the grid garage sales are usually the best ones. Very happy with what I got. So I'm gonna show you the haul. Um, decent. I think I, I don't know what I spent, maybe 
50 60 bucks of everything you're about to see so hopefully um i'll do really really well so let's get to the haul and see exactly what we got all right let's start with some clothing here 50 cents a piece uh david bitten uh shirt um strive for victory this is a double x so i'm probably gonna keep this one for myself paid 50 cents for that i got this um ascii assist i think it's called assist um tank top um again this is 50 cents and again i'm probably gonna keep this for myself because it is my size so yeah you know sometimes garage sales there's some there's really good deals for it, even if you don't resell on ebay or want to turn a profit the, the deals are out there you can buy strictly for yourself picked up this really cool banana republic hat for a dollar a um, little bit of wear on it uh i gotta straighten up a little bit but i paid a dollar for this there's a bit uh, i don't know if you can see it, the camera picked that up it's a banana republic so it's made out of what is it made polyester and i can't remember, olaf and full full enough i don't know <laughs> anyway i know it was a dollar and um the brand itself should sell maybe 10 bucks or so so as you saw in one of the garage sales, I picked up this uh, Gilligan's Island um, DVD set for five bucks. Brand, um, practically brand new. I don't think it's ever been used. Anyways, this yard sale was really, it was great. It had some really, really good stuff. It was in, on a farm. So a lot of, and a lot of horse stuff. And I, I sat there, I mean, I sat, I stood there and I just, I know some of the stuff is worth money, but I know nothing about horse, like horse, like straddles and stuff. And I knew there was a straddle there for like, three hundred dollars it just felt like i can i could double my money but i just didn't want to risk three hundred dollars something i did had nothing did not know nothing about so i think i'm gonna do some more research on like stuff for horses and see what they're worth generally speaking so when i come across them i can um maybe buy them and resell them before money once i have more knowledge of those items but yeah there's a lot of items with this garage sale that i, I probably should have picked up but you know if i'm if I don't know an item, like the an item is like, or any knowledge of the item, I will not pick it up. I will not risk my money for it. So that being said, like I said, this Gilligan Island DVD set was the only thing I picked up. I'm sure there was money to be made over there. Just, I couldn't pull the trigger on some of those items. Here's a brand you should be looking out for. This is a Japanese clothing brand. Uh, the brand is, let me see if I can uh, show you the tag here. It's, uh, Decente or Descente. I don't know if that I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Anyways, they make like ski clothing, like windbreakers. This is a really cool, has the Decente emblem on the side. Um, I know some of these can go for really good money, especially the vintage ones. Maybe um I don't know, 60 bucks. Um, a little bit of wear on the inside now that I look at it. I paid three bucks for it. So very happy with this item. And um Hopefully I can get some really good money on this brand. So look up at this brand. It's Decente. I don't know if that this can pick. I don't know if that can pick. I don't know if they can pick up that name brand, but it is called Decente. All right, a couple of uh, Mitchell Ness hats um, from our local team. It's the UNLV Running Rebels hats. Uh, I'm not sure if this is real or fake or not. I know the Mitchell Ness. Some of the some of the stuff can be faked, especially the jerseys. So you gotta be careful when you buy jerseys in the Mitchell Ness that you got a legitimate. Um, uh jersey but you know the hat these are two dollars each and this is the local unlv team um not sure it has much value anymore you know back in the 90s when they had the basketball team was very popular this this these emblem these clothing this team um were big big sellers so i'm not sure what it is but for two bucks each i can't go wrong i may just lot up and try to get 20 bucks for it another hat new with tags this is uh pratt and whitney fighter power plus military hat uh, all they got it because it was a dollar and it's uh, brand new at tags. So, I don't know, maybe, I'm looking at maybe 10 bucks for something like this. I can do more research, but, you know, $1 to 10, I'll take it all day long. All right, I want to give a quick shout out to the Bonafide Hustler who turned me on to this brand watching his videos. You know, he sells a lot of shoes, a lot of athletic stuff, a lot of outdoor stuff. And this is something, this is a brand I never heard of until I started um, watching his channel. And this, the brand is on. I don't know if you see it there. On. I don't know if you see it there. O N. See it there. Running shoes, really good condition. This is a size men's eight. Swiss engineering. So I know these this this brand sells for pretty decent money. Uh, you can see the nubs there. Really good condition there. Like they've only been worn a few times, but yeah. So I paid. Uh, how did I pay for this? 
three bucks for this, maybe three or two bucks. I don't know. Anyways, I know this would sell for, I don't know, maybe 30 to 50 bucks, maybe more. I got to do more research, but like I said, thank you. Shout out to the Bonafide Hustler who turned me on to this brand. So look out for this brand when you're outsourcing. It's called On. These are running shoes. All right, this one is, is I took a chance. This is a pair of Caddis. I don't know if this can pick up Caddis. K, I'm sorry, C-A-D-D-I-S. These are like fishing boots. I know people wear these for fishing. And I paid 20 bucks for this and took a shot. I just felt it and just felt like quality. Really heavy. The guy said he barely used it. And from looking at the thing, he's right. You can, you can see the nubs here. It was like barely been used. So I paid 20 bucks for this. And, you know, I haven't done any research for it. I just felt like this was worth at least 50 to 60 bucks. So I decided to take a chance. And if it's not worth, if, it's, if I'm wrong and it's not worth 60 bucks, I can get my money back. But I just, I just felt that. This is worth money. So let me do some more research and figure out how much these are worth. Uh, those of you guys who know anything about fishing boots and know the brand Caddy, um, Caddis, I'm sorry, um, please leave in the comment below um, how much are these uh, fishing boots worth? All right, here's another thing that I picked up for $20. It's a bunch of like um, C clamps, adjustable C clamps. Um, they're one, two, three, four, and a couple small ones here. Uh, four six there's like there's um four of these and there's three of these C, C clamps and it came in this box uh, Milwaukee heavy duty electric tool another reason why I got it because I know the, the brand Milwaukee even though the tool wasn't in here I'm sure the box which is in pretty decent condition considering just a couple of scratches and just needs to be clean is probably worth the 20 bucks that I got so I think I'm gonna try to sell these heavy um C clamps as a lot there's seven of them and see what i can get for that and um hopefully i can get at least get my money back so yeah i paid 20 bucks for this and uh super happy with with this uh this purchase here uh coleman lamp if you see it here really uh decent condition not sure if it works but i paid four bucks for this um i gotta give a shout out to a couple youtube channels um cincinnati picker and the craigless hunter who uh mentioned about these coleman lamps that they're really worth money and the fact that you can tell the date of them by looking at the bottom of it so this is a uh, Col Coleman Wichita Kansas 1987 so what is that 30 something years ago 35 years ago so I'm not sure of this because I know when I watch Cincinnati Picker and Craigless Hunter they get the ones that are from the 70s and they sell for like pretty decent money so I'm not sure a Coleman Lantern from 1987 is worth and this is a Coleman the powerhouse. So I got to do some more research on this, but I knew that it was, it was worth something. Even if it doesn't work, I know I can sell it as is. And someone who buys it can probably fix it up and uh, make it work. So I'm not going to test it. I'm not going to try to test it. I'm just going to sell it as is and hopefully I get some decent money for it. But do some more research and see exactly what I got here. Last thing I picked up was this uh, golf club. It's uh, tailor-made, made in the USA. It's a one iron. Um, I know tailor maids are actually worth a lot of money. I like I like selling golf clubs. Um, one of the brands that I love picking up is Tailor Made, and this is a one iron. Like I said, really good condition. I paid three bucks for this, so I'm not sure what it's worth. But for three bucks, I could not pass this up. Um, he had a other he had a bunch of other golf clubs, but they're all junk. And he's asking me if I want to buy the rest of the golf clubs. No, it's okay. So I like to cherry pick these <laughs> because. Other than the brands like TaylorMade, Cobra, Callaway, a Ping, um, a, lot of the, a lot of the other brands are really junk. So you got to be careful. You got to be picky when you're outsourcing uh, golf clubs. But some of them can be some really decent money. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, like I said, I'm very happy with what I got. Um, the garage sale season is coming along here in Vegas. Um, I know it's only mid-January, mid but... You know the weather for us is kind of warm up a little bit so it was like 55 degrees today so you know the garage sales are gonna start popping up as the year goes on so i don't be out there and i'm gonna be sourcing i'm uh, trying to get items to uh hopefully sell on ebay or items that i'm gonna keep for myself so, thank you again to everybody who watched the video who comments who likes all that good stuff um i really really appreciate it all the views that i get and i'm, I'm really um humbled by all of it so Thank you for watching. If, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more of these type of videos, subscribe to the channel. 
hit by hitting that subscribe button. And of course, if you want to share the word of your boy, Ronnie Bizzle, please share with your friends. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video for your boy, Ronnie Bizzle. Thanks for watching, everybody.